Hi, you're watching Hexus TV, and we're here out in Las Vegas for CS 2010. We're over on the Call It booth, and we're with Jess Lyon from Call It. And Jeff, you're going to talk to us about this little thing. I think it's called the Vantage. Is that right? That's right. The uh, the Vantage is the newest and uh, probably the the flagship of our new CPU cooling line. Okay. Uh, now, what's the difference between this and the Eco, which we saw uh, not so long ago? Uh, the difference between the Vantage and the Eco is actually mostly in the control capabilities of it. Um, so we saw with the Eco the new retention mechanism and the liquid loop. The liquid loop is in, in fact actually identical. Um, okay. But what we've added here with the Eco, or sorry, with the Vantage, is the LCD. It's a full graphical LCD. It actually has everything from uh, RGB backlighting, so you can change the color on it, do whatever you want. In fact and built into it is that same sort of technology that we introduced with the Domino. So you can choose your different fan profiles to see whether it's going to be quiet, performance, or extreme. Um, so the, the, uh, the interesting thing with this though, and it's not necessarily evident right away, is there's no actual wires connecting the head control unit here with the fan assembly over here. So the communication's actually happening wirelessly. We've got a wireless communication module inside the Vantage, which is in fact communicating information to what we have as a control node on the Vantage fan assembly here. So that basically allows you to have even less cabling inside, have a neater solution, but surely running wirelessly for just the sake of a cable, there's got to be more to it than that. You've decided that on that for another option other than just to, well, I've got wireless fans. Certainly. I mean, we'll get to that in just a second, but the, the big feature set improvement on the Vantage is not just the fact that you can have wireless profiles and regulate your fan up and down. Because we are controlling the fan, we've actually included a more capable fan on the Vantage, so it's capable of going all the way up to 2700 RPM, giving a little bit more headroom and you, the end user, the opportunity to change that to whatever your tastes may be. Beyond that, in this control module up in here, we have two additional fan headers that you can maybe t take control of the rest of your chassis fans. In addition to that, there's also actually a temperature sensor module that you can plug into here and then monitor perhaps a secondary zone and then have the fans being regulated according to the temperature in that second zone. So if you've got uh, one of these newer sort of like uh, compartmentalized cases where you might have like a bottom zone here to put your PSU um, so, uh, so it's all out of the way, you could put the temperature control down there and then when you knew that the uh, that was getting a bit warm because the PSU is getting a bit toasty, you could have that flicker fan on, something like that, yeah? Absolutely. Beyond that, if we actually t start thinking about the expandability, since it is wireless, now we can actually have that control node necessarily not be the only control node. So you can add a second one and have all of those fan informations managed by and sent to this LCD module here. And how do you actually communicate with the LCD module? Is it through some software? Absolutely. If we could expand into the software package that, that we've packaged called Maestro. Um, so the Maestro software can then, just by simply plugging in a wireless USB dongle, now it can talk to all of the different wireless components that Coolit has provided. Okay, we'll talk about Maestro a bit later, I think, because yeah. there's something else I've spotted here, and that's um, uh, you've got two dual, dual GPU graphics cards, but they're very, very thin, which obviously means you've got to be calling them. But first of all, I want to know what they are, and then I want to know what you're calling them with. <laughs> um, well, the first thing is uh, these are the 5970s from ATI. Okay. And, uh, you know, probably the most capable graphics card that's available today. And what we've wanted to do is simplify liquid cooling for graphics cards by making it universal. What's right. new with that is that in the past, every time a new graphics card would come out, we'd have to do a ground-up solution. You've got a retool for the whole cooler for the channels and filling it over the die and then covering the memory and then you've got to have your fluid running through that. And it's that as was complicated afford. as you say. Yeah, yes. I could just go on about that all day really because I don't <laughs> know what I'm talking about, but hey. So the, what's actually cooling it is the Omni ALC. Okay. So the Omni ALC is actually a universal cooling plate, it's extremely low profile, allows us to have liquid cooling for the entire card, not just the GPUs. What gets it down onto each individual card is something that we would call an interposer plate. So that interposer plate is individual for each card architecture so that you can actually adapt to the different topography of the components. I get it. So this is basically one big cooling plate, and then you have like um, like a, a template that goes on here, which is for the specific card. That's right. So then this just bolts on top. Something like this. I'm a genius. I am a genius. So what we see here is actually an individual card, and this is uh, for the GTX 295, um, so that you can actually then just bolt this down onto the card, and then 
The Omni plate is then fastened with thermal interface material which comes pre-applied to the interposer plate so that you can then keep your liquid cooling solution intact and keep it with your chassis and then just change out your graphics cards as your heart's desire. So, so when you think, ah, uh, 295, it's not quick enough now, I need to go to the 5970, all you do is unbolt this, put the new plate on, so you get the, the whole range of plates available from Cool It, or do you Absolutely. get a range that come with the Omni? Uh, it's custom because we don't know what graphics card you have, so you'll buy the main unit from Cool It, in either a 120 uh, millimeter fan form factor or a 240 millimeter fan form factor, and um, we can then, uh, uh, based on whatever interposer plates you order, Right now we've got the uh, 5970, the 5870, and the GTX 295. Okay, and uh, when's this going to hit the market? Or is this uh, out now? This is actually shipping within the next couple of weeks. We have, we're have we taking orders for these now and going through. There is a custom time lag, yeah. um, so there's going to be a bit of lead time, probably two to three weeks after placing the order. Okay, and uh, how much is it going to be? It depends on what configuration you get. Okay, how much is the base unit? Let's put it this way, if you're doing a, a single unit, it'll be under 300 bucks. Okay, cool, including the uh, interposer plate. That'd be the goal. Fantastic, and what about Vantage? Uh, Vantage is going to be retailing at $125. Okay, and then what about getting the extra modules? Extra modules with the Maestro is going to be $89, and the, the, the subtle addition that I didn't actually mention yet was the ability to control RGB lighting for inside your chassis. Okay, right, well we're going to talk about Maestro now, I think, because there seems to be a lot more going on there. You bet. Um, but Check back soon on the next show when we'll be talking about Maestro, finding out about wireless RGB controlling for all of your chassis and controlling all of your fans, controlling up to three fans and thermal header extras and all the other extra bits and pieces that come on and thinking about Sonar XTV. <gasps>